You and I both know that you are capable of enjoying the rain and frolicking freely without filming it and then posting it to TikTok. Now, you've just co-signed, okay? You've just co-signed at least 3 million 8.5 by 11 front and back people who just go out of their way to disrespect and dismiss the boundaries that black creators have set. And now you're one of those people. So I guess my question would be, why? Why, would, why is it so important to all of you to treat us like we don't matter? Now, before I get to the meat and the crux of this video, I'm going to take a detour from the clip and I'm going to use a science fiction TV show in order to bring a point that needs that should be said for a very long time so as I'm sitting here I remember the TV show Star Trek right now on Star Trek the lore I'm talking about for me I watched the next generation right and Deep Space Nine with, with the brother. And then you got Voyager, right? The, the, the Star Trek from the 90s and early 2000s. And they have a, a protocol. A general's order. Which was called Prime Directive. Now I want you to put, put a pin in that. What I'm about to say here. We got Drew Barrymore. who is an actress from E.T. She was an actress from the movie Mommy Dearest. This, this is when she was a child actress. And then when she became an adult, she was part of Charlie's Angels. And she was married to Tom Green from MTV. If some of y'all remember, if some of us millennials remember that from the, from the late 90s. Well, she was on TikTok or, or Twitter, whatever the social media accounts, and she was, um, she was uh, frolicking, dancing in the rain. And I'm sitting over here saying, okay, we have a woman dancing in the rain, being joyous in the rain. But we got this idiot. Oh yes, we, I, I got to go in with this. We got this idiot who tried to make this into a racial issue. And her, this woman's position, and this woman is an African-American woman. And she's having a breakdown on why, Ju why grew, no, excuse me, wrong name. Why Drew Barrymore have a very, uh, uh, very racist, how the video of her fr uh, frolicking in the rain, dancing in the rain, jumping in the rain is racism. And the reason why she did that because though she thought that Drew Barrymore was copying black men who was on Twitter and TikTok doing their videos about frolicking in the middle of a field. 
And also some black women were doing it. Now, where is the racism in this? The difference between the brothers going out frolicking in the open field and Drew Barrymore going out there and being joyous that rain is coming down. Let me say this right now. And I'm trying to be calm, cool, and collective here. The problem issue is back to my Star Trek analogy. Back to my Star Trek analogy about Prime Directive. And with this Prime Directive, they always said, you know, any civilization that does not have the technology to go warp drive should be avoided. But you know what social media should, should have done? You know what social media should have done? You know, kind of like when Facebook came back in 2004, when it was just nothing but people who went to college or are alumni of a certain university. They only have an account at Facebook after 2007, 2006. Everybody started having it and Facebook went, went, went straight to hell. Well, well, you know what? I'm a, I got to say this. Who gives you Negroes the Internet? Who gave you Negroes the internet? They should never give you Negroes the internet. We got real racism out here. We got real poverty. We got people out here trying to trying to steal from you. Try to re-enslave you. Try to discriminate you. We got people out here trying to destroy you, take away your freedom, whatsoever, uh, in whatever, anything in between. But Drew Barrymore being a racist because she's dancing in the rain, that's a, a hmm, that's a problem. Who give you Negroes YouTube? See, 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 you red ball, green ball. I'm, I'm telling you, the, pro the problem with the problem with the internet, the problem with the internet, it gives you, you extremists, a voice. It gives the stupid the ability to broadcast their ignorance. It gives the insane the, the ability to make sure uh, to hook up with other insane people to say say that their insanity is normal and should be okay. No. Who gives you Negroes YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, and anything else? You red ball, green ball, black ball, you pro blacks. This is this is the reason why people got a problem with you conscious community types, you pro-blacks, you pro-quacks, you B1 networks, and, 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 and all this, I'm black, I'm black, I'm black, y'all, I'm black, y'all, I'm black, lead, black, 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 black. And then y'all talk about racism, we can't be racist. How about you open up a damn book? How about you open up Oxford Dig Dictionary. How about you open up Westbury Dig Dictionary? Drew Barrymore did not deserve it, and I know she doesn't need defense. She don't need. She doesn't need Big J to defend her. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me talk about that for a minute. Drew Barrymore, a millionaire and well-known actress of the seventies, eighties, and nineties. Does not need Big J's defense. No, she doesn't. Because she because she got the power to do what needs to be done. But my commentary here is 
People are tired of you pro-blacks. People are tired of your race baiting. That is my commentary. Because you're out here, um, <clears throat> you're over here trying to be, uh, uh, um, some of y'all here trying to be the next Malcolm X, some of y'all trying to be the next Mar Marcus Garvey with this foolishness that spew out of your mouth. And the real problem is, Drew Barrymore is not the one being racist. No, I'll tell you what this is really about. Let me tell you what this is really about. This is about you having racial insecurity let me repeat that again for you you are insecure as a black person uh oh you are so insecure because she is enjoying herself while you are not people are getting tired of y'all so don't come to me with the red ball with that red, black, and green flag. Don't, 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 don't you, don't you come come with me with that? Because people are getting fed up with y'all. They really are. And I'm glad people called this woman out. What do you, what do you got, got to be jealous for? If people are happy, if people ain't messing with anybody, if people ain't assaulting anybody, if people out here ain't harming anybody, if people ain't out here killing anybody, touching anybody, molesting anybody, stealing from anybody, taking advantage of anybody, then guess what? Then mind your Business. That's what you need to do. And I ran out of water. I ran out of water. You need to mind your business. Because you have low self-esteem. You want to race bait because, because you're trying to a racial scapegoat because you are insecure in your own personhood. And yes, you as a woman, you're insecure in your feminality. And no, don't you come over here. And let me, let me say this to these women who, who just heard me. Quote, quote, talk about, oh, Big J just attack a black woman, the black, Big J just attack a black woman. Well, well, let me, well, let me, let me go ahead and preempt that with a video I did though the other day. Shut up. Now back to the point. We need to live in a society that respects other people. We need to live in a society that honors commitment. We need to live, live in a society of what, what it really means to be a human being. People, people treat it with respect and dignity. I know I'm a black man. I know we got racism. But let's, if we're going to call out racism, let's call out the real ra racism. The racism where, where, where we got lead pipes in Newark, New Jersey. But you don't see, see them pro-blacks out there in Newark, New, New Jersey calling that out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you, you so-called New Jersey Negroes who keep talking about red, black, and green. Where are you? New Jersey niggas talking about, oh, we need to sit there and fix what's going on in New Newark. What we need to fix in Jersey City. We got blood, we got lead pipes, dirty water in Flint, and Chicago. 
but but but, but y'all want to wave that red, black, and green flag and going after interracial couples, going after a black man because he's with a white woman, or going after a black woman because she's with a white man or a non-black person. Y'all want to attack gay people. Y'all want to attack this, this person over here. And then y'all try to make excuses talking about we're trying to, to protect our own. While some of y'all are out there, you know, out there being, uh oh, let me find, let me, let me say this like this. How some of you who are pro black and conscious community types don't talk about straight black pride when you don't honor the commitment of a family structure unit. You need to have several of damn seats. That's what you need to do. That's what, that's what you need to do. People getting tired of you for real. And uh, you know what? Let me do my next video. Uh, in the uh, and because I'm talking about my commentary about Nikolai Govachok, who, who was the last um, leader of, of the Soviet Union, I'm gonna talk. I'm, I'm gonna go off on that one. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, put my commentary on that one. Why his death is a very troubling sign for the Western world. But anyway, like, share, subscribe, and you pro blacks, y'all are the black face of the alt-right. Y'all are the alt-right in black face. And that's a damn fact. Don't you come to my channel saying otherwise, because you are. Because your behavior and your words and your rhetoric says otherwise.